they are innocent little questions <clears throat> and they are um they are evolved from some of the very first nlp that was pulled together created in the 70s um they're extraordinarily useful we'll start off with what was this, if i were the practitioner speaking to the client what would you like which is and the second one and what will having that do for you that's where it really starts to get interesting because most people when they first encounter that question they think whoa what a great question and we kind of go well yeah we're, we're very fond of it <laughs> and there's often a response to that and then we say fabulous wonderful and what will having that do for you and um and maybe a third time maybe 20 times but usually not usually not and what will having that do for you so what the what the person is unfolding is um a sense of their values their their criteria their the things that are important to them and precious to them and they're introducing themselves to their present tense self to a future self that maybe they've never had the opportunity to speak about or even think about and then somewhere along and there is <clears throat> this question that that julie just mentioned how will you know when you have it which is like really surprising especially if we're talking about things that are sort of like abstractions like i want fulfillment and joy and happy well how will you know when you have it? um and then sometimes there's a, a a bit of a more specific inquiry gee golly where when and with whom would you like to have this experience and if the answer is always and everywhere with everyone then we definitely have to pay some attention to say everywhere with everyone well i guess no not really and that leads on to that actually a fifth question that which is the one about ecology is there anything that you might lose that you value when you can have this really wonderful outcome now so <clears throat> those are five questions we introduce the five questions <clears throat> when people are first introduced to them as they're practicing them with, with each other they ask the five questions and they say well uh, i guess i've succeeded at that i asked all five questions these five questions can become the basis for a two or three hour long interaction um, and and conversation they go in many different directions but they're the the basic kind of wireframe for for whatever the person wants to create so that's what i have to say about that really a fun thing to pay attention to yeah mm. and it goes into really surprising directions so the person after a little while in in conversation about that realizes that what they really 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 want isn't what they thought they wanted which is often part of um part of why they haven't unfolded what they want yet because it's not actually what they really want it's identified as a you know I'll, i'll 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 do this or be this and then that will lead to that and then that will lead to that and that will lead to that and then i'll have this and this is what what they really value and they're actually not that interested in all of this process before that so just in case there's another way to let a cooperative universe unfold this in their experience well, then we can maybe skip these parts over here although you do have to kind of take a shower and show up for a lot of things there's no question about that still 